Hello, it's Nick here, and we're going underwater with this one with Scuba Dive on the ZX Spectrum, um, published by Jarrell Software 1983, uh, the publishers behind uh, Harry Attack, of course. Uh, this one written by Mike A. Richardson. This is an arcade action game. I've just selected my keys here. Now you see me on the boat. The aim is to go underwater scuba diving to collect all the treasures and avoid all the nasty uh, sea life. So let's have, see how we get on. But this is one of these um, fun games. That you don't know really why it's fun. But it's all about exploration, this one, really. Got a, a fun little scuba diving man here we're uh, controlling. So he explores the sea from his boat. We're gradually running out of oxygen. So occasionally we have to surface to uh, replenish our oxygen. And as you can see, uh, the sea life is pretty lively here. A number of green sharks overlapping each other, schools of fish, jellyfish. So plenty of uh, opportunity to die here, but this is a, this is a jam-packed sea of deadly enemies. Um, you see those clams down the bottom there? Uh, if we go down, we'll get some points. But um, yes, it's quite dark here. You see the depth, ga depth gauge? So there's chasms we can find. But um, it's all at random, so the seabed is never the same uh, twice. So clams will be in a different place, and also chasms. There's octopi to find. It's uh, quite an interesting uh, game. Um, the boat continues to move up the top there, so where we left it won't be where it is when we swim back up again. Uh, the, the play area wraps around. Oh, there's a giant octopus there. Let's see if we can get through. And uh, like an idiot, we swam straight into it and died. But uh, have four lives in this um, interesting game. As I say, quite fun, not too serious. There wasn't a sequel to this game, but uh, I'd love to see a modern day game uh, based on the sea exploring round. I think there might be one on some format, but I can't quite remember what that is. If you know it, type it in below. I imagine it's a bit graphically better than this. But uh, yeah, very very relaxing. Not much to the game. Nice and simple. A bit, bit like uh, Harry Attack uh, by the same uh, company, Jarrell Software. This is an arcade action game, but not really much action going on. Exploring the ocean. Not bad. Not, not a bad little game, all in all. Uh, come back to it every now and again but hopefully let's have a go at getting past this octopus this time if we can find it um, the deeper we go the bigger the clams are and the more the treasure so let's slow down right go no not yet there's two octopuses here I think there's a giant squid somewhere right we're down we're going a bit deeper here there's electric eel more seal oh there's a bit of a squid thing there but occasionally you'll see two fish overlap each other and that's when the spectrum colour scheme uh, has a bit of problems. So you can already see so there's some bigger clams down the bottom as we swim along. Uh, there might be some air tanks somewhere, so we won't have to keep going up to the boat. But quite easy to run out of oxygen here. As I say, the screen wraps around, so if you keep going left, eventually it'll go around in a circle, which is quite handy if you're far away from the boat. Just got something out of that uh, clam. So we're holding 50. Yeah, but the option, of the um, aim of the game, of course, is to score as many points as you possibly can and not die. Like most games, not dying is a big thing. Oh, what's up here? Oh, I think we've hit a dead end. Let's go back the other way. There's another octopus along here, so you can go even deeper. But uh, I'm not sure this game ever does complete. You just go on and on and on, scoring as much points as you possibly, possibly can. Uh, see the oxygen there, the death gauge, lives. Um, four skill levels. Um, oddly enough, this is on skill level one out of four. Um, level four, the amount of fish buzzing around is uh, pretty hectic. But uh, I, I'm all for swimming in calm waters, really. We don't want too many jaws sight things uh, turning up. Actually, if any film needs a prequel, Jaws is probably one. The Jaws prequel, of course, um, everyone's having a great time on the beach, having a nice holiday, a shark doesn't turn up, uh, eventually people have nice ice cream, and then go home. What an exciting film that would be. I don't think a prequel of Jaws is on the cards, to be honest. Oh, there's another octopus. So you can swim around here. He's guarding it for all his life. It's all about timing, this.
which, uh, yeah, if you crash into the rocks you get stuck and then the octopus can easily kill you. Yes, this boat, blue on the top, purple under the water, so work that out. A lot of strange creatures here. What's that white thing going across? I think we might have discovered a new um, new life form there. Some crazy jellyfish. School of fish. So yeah, quite quite well programmed this, quite smooth. I like the kicking of the scuba man. Let's see if we can get a clam and get back to the boat at least. Right, held 20 you can see, so I've got something from that clam. If only life was this easy. Just You forget about work, you go out to sea, jump out your boat, and uh, just collect uh, money for the seabed. See the boats gradually moving across as our last life as I commit suicide by swimming into a jellyfish. Well there we go. I think we've got an, uh, just enough time for another game of this. Right, there's two clams there. Well that could be easy. So we just go down and go back up to the boat I think. Right, got something. Held 20. Now that jellyfish slowly going across is preventing us getting onto the boat. Let's just swim around here. So he goes, and uh, just as you wait, another thing comes across. What is that green thing? That is weird. Under the sea. Oh, yeah, see, that's what happens. Um, I don't know if you ever scuba dived. If you swim under the boat and brush against it, um, you actually spontaneously combust. So don't don't do that. See, it's pretty black. Maybe there's been an oil spillage. Oh, I'm stuck again. Right. So in the shallows, this red rock. Right. Let's go. Let's go deep, deep. Oh, electric eel. All all I want really is to get a clam, get back to the boat, then probably sleep all day, go to bed. That probably do us. This scuba man, I think, could do with a harpoon. Really, I mean, if this dead, if this was me, and I knew that the seabed was this packed, definitely a gun or a harpoon to kill something, because uh, this is pretty dangerous stuff. The seabed keeps changing. No shipwrecks. Would like to see a shipwreck or two, but um, can't ask too much of 8-bit spectrum graphics. And I, uh, I think overall they've done a, a splendid job. Very original game. There wasn't anything else uh, quite like it. Um, I think this is a winner. Um, I like the way the screen sort of like updates. You don't have to go off the screen. Go to about a third the way in. It just scrolls across and that's all very smooth. So that's good programming. I don't know what this scuba diver man's name is. But uh, yeah, he needs a pay rise to be honest. Not suffered by the bends at all. So you can swim straight up or straight down. Doesn't have a problem. Where's the boat gone? Oh, who goes scuba diving? You, you get your scuba, you drop your scuba man off, and then you sail away. Where are they? Don't say I'm going to have to paddle all the way from uh, across the ocean to find this uh, boat. Didn't get this in Jaws. Maybe it's sunk. Hello? God, where is it? And I've died on a jellyfish. Yes, and that's scuba dive on the ZX Spectrum. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.